Howdy. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out in the end. I'm so sorry to rush you. <laughs> oh, no worries, no worries. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, well, hello. Hello. Did you at least have a good practice? Yeah, actually, I got in about a good 15 or 20 minutes there. <laughs> For, since some of the guys have kids now, we've been practicing on the kids' schedule. So we've been practicing at like nine in the morning, oh. which, which I think is like the least punk rock thing in the world. But also, it's so unpunk that it's kind of punk. So it's it's yeah. okay. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not used to nine a.m. practices and being up this this early. So it's changing my life. <laughs> Sounds like it. So do you still get into the music easy, or does it just take longer? No, I was telling our, our our drummer, I was like, man, I'm playing so bad today. This is like way too early for me. <laughs> so I'll get I'll get better over time at it. Yeah, it's all about adjusting, I'm sure. <laughs> it is. So you're in the Netherlands. No, I'm in Germany, actually. Um, oh, my bad, my bad. No, 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 it's all good. And, uh, you know, talking about countries and such, I saw that you are doing a big US tour next year. And I saw you have one concert in Italy already scheduled. So is there any more coming to Europe? Maybe? <laughs> oh, God. Well, we'll see. We're we're shooting for festivals in the summer. So that's sort of, I, um, there might be, though, actually, um early in the year we haven't we're nothing's concrete but we we might be over to do some stuff um because our record's coming out so in that in that week where our record's coming out keep your eyes peeled there might be something cool that that comes up Ooh, sounds very interesting we'll definitely yeah. do that. and talking about the new record it sounds like an insane project like all those amazing artists on there like how how was it working on that um it was really fun it was really cool you know um we sort of have like i think everybody in the band has sort of different memories of like how that concept came about and why we decided to do that but um you know like in a way like i think it was sort of organic where once we did one we wanted to do another one i mean we we always kind of in our band have you know tried to um collaborate with our friends you know and i and and you know the band for us has always been a way to connect with people obviously um whenever we're connecting with other artists who inspire us that's always really exciting and i think it's it's just a little bit of extra inspiration when we're working on something so um kind of um Early on, you know, we were like, oh, yeah, we should ask Tim from Rise Against to sing on this song just because he's a buddy, you know, and it's easy. You know, it's like, hey, dude, you want to sing on this dude song? Really cool on it. And he was like, oh, yeah. And then we heard what he did. And then it was like, whoa, well, who else can we ask? You know, and it kind of went from there. And we reached out to Shane from Silverstein. And before we knew it, you know, it's like, wow, well, maybe we could have guests on on maybe every track, you know, like, let's see how far this goes, you know. So I think in the end, we have uh, guests on eight out of 11 tracks. And obviously, Campino is one of those guests. And um, that so that's pretty exciting. And obviously, like the song um, Victory or Death, uh, which we just released, um, you know, it I just was like, God, you know, when we when we wrote the song, I was like, this sounds it's such an anthem, you know, the chorus and know. And that just made me think of De Totenhosen like immediately, you know, mm -hmm. I was like, I, I, we kind of felt like it was a total long shot um, that he would do it, but it was really exciting whenever he was like, yeah, this sounds great. Let's, let's go. And I was like, all right. So he's been, he was super enthu enthusiastic. And so that was really exciting. Yeah. And you've already toured together. So working together, was it like easy or did you have to get into it first? Uh, well, no, it was actually like incredibly easy. Um, you know, Campino was so like enthusiastic about it, you know, which was really cool because we have toured together in the past, but um, we didn't know each other that well. You know, I mean, I think that we we knew each other's bands better than we knew each other personally because um, and just because we toured together a long time ago. 
Um, and we hadn't had a lot of interaction since then. So it's been really cool to interact and, and see that he is somebody that I think just absolutely loves music. He loves people. He, he loves collaborating with people. And, um, you know, initially, like we just asked him to sing the song in English and he did. And then later the idea came up. It was like, well, hey, would you want to do some in German? And, you know, he's like, oh, that'd be really cool. So it was at, with each step that that creatively that came up, he was really willing to, to try. And uh, and so I think that's why we got such a great result in the end. You know that and that was really exciting for us. Yeah, and and like it's a really fun song to listen to, and it feels like it fits very well into the season, like with the bells and everything. It almost feels kind of Christmassy. So was that intentional, or did that just happen organically? You know, it was totally organic, except that we also had that vibe from it after the song was done, and and that was a big part of why it's coming out at this time of year. Um, because we thought, well, gosh, you know, like it kind of has a Christmas vibe to it. So let's hold on to releasing it till later because, uh, you know, it, it'll feel good around the holidays. And, and I think it really does, which is which is super cool. So like the, um, you know, punk rock Christmas celebration. <laughs> Yeah, and like talking about the holidays and such, um, I saw on your Insta a while back, you had a really fun Christmas tree. So do you have any um, fun traditions for the holidays? Oh, gosh. Did you see my my Santa Claus dance in front of my Christmas tree? Oh, I only saw the one with the like really bright colored lights. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, <laughs> Because the other one's even more embarrassing. Um, it sounds yeah. like so much fun, though. <laughs> like, I will check that one out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I am the youngest of nine. So wow. I have a, obviously I have five sisters and I have three brothers. And so in our family, the holidays is always a big party, you know. Um, and actually, like, so my dad is from Ireland and my mom's family is also Irish. So you know, there was like a real, really intense Irish influence on our family growing up. And even like, we all kind of played an instrument or something like that growing up. We all kind of, uh, we almost had like our own little Irish band. It was like flogging Molly, you know, like growing up in my house, you know? And so um, around the holidays, it's just a great time for us all to get together and, and, and kind of have a party. We, it, it's sort of hard to like escape, mm -hmm. like, and find time for yourself like with my family around the holiday but I but I think that's a good thing you know mm -hmm. yeah it sounds like it like if everyone comes together there's usually that you know family specific dynamic I have a lot of siblings as well so I understand <laughs> yeah, yeah. so oh, it's wow. just everyone on top of each other it's it's so much fun yeah it is. it's a blast you know one cool thing actually that i really do love in my family is that we give each other gifts on christmas eve and um not not everybody buys a gift for everybody you know because there's so many of us it's just like if somebody sees something that really feels right like as a gift for someone else maybe they'll they'll get it for them you know mm -hmm. but um what I really love is there is a bedroom in the, in the second floor at my parents' house um, that it's always been the room where people wrap gifts. And what's really cool is like um, on Christmas Eve, when you go into that room, there's always some person in there randomly wrapping a gift in secret kind of, you know? And then if the gift isn't for you, they're like, oh, come in, you know? And then you have like this shared secret and that's like always been one of my like favorite things about hanging out at my parents house on on christmas eve there's always like this secret wrapping of presents happening which is kind of fun yeah you can like get really excited together <laughs> totally. of course everybody's doing it at the very last minute you know so we're a family of procrastinators and here yeah, that makes why i was so late for this interview and i and so so I, I really apologize. Well, um, thank you so much for taking the time and doing this interview. Is there anything else you would like to let your fans know? 
Well, I mean, I will say, like, we absolutely love Germany. It's always so good to us. Um, and I, I really am looking forward to, to getting back there. And it's going to be, uh, I think, a really exciting summer. And I hope that, um, I hope that if we, if we do do something in, uh, in January, um, it, it, if we do, it'll be small. And I hope that people can, can make it out for that. So keep your eyes open. Um, we might be doing something fun. We were literally talking about it today. I'm not making any promises, but we're we're gonna try to do something cool. So we'll see. Awesome. But thank you so much for talking. And I absolutely apologize for being so late. I uh gosh, life's a little crazy right now. Hey, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And I have fun practicing more. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again. Later. Bye -bye. See ya. Bye bye. Bye.